family. How you there? Well, come on in, come on in. I'm feeling a little bit more energized today and uh, as promised, I need to finish this pin cushion we started a couple weeks ago. Um, Miss Andy is roaming around, so she might pop in in a few seconds. A little excited because she saw a lizard at the window. But uh, let's see, <laughs> maybe she might let us work or not. Nonetheless, I'm going to continue this project and hopefully we'll be able to finish it in this video. And um, I hope you join along and learn something or pick up an idea here or there. Uh, you can do it like this. You can do it however you wish. And um, at least you get some inspiration to start. And don't be afraid of crafting. It's nice and soothing. This is a what what is called a long doll needle. Um, I used it to uh, sew through these two layers to reinforce them. So I'm gonna be doing the same with the other two layers to reinforce and make sure they're sturdy um, on the base. So let's get going.
foundation of a pin cushion. Not the best out there, but trust me, it was made with a lot of love. So, let's go through the layers and see. Because if I don't stop right now, I'm going to continue adding things on. So, it's very shabby chic. Remember, we started with the ceramic base. We put, we placed pearls and eyelet to the base. We placed uh, the doily and the rim with two layers of pearls. My first layer of fabric was this madras. And to me, it represents the skirt of a quadrille dancer. And also because of the beautiful colors, it represents it's also our famous Vienna cake, which by the way, Miss Shalita is an awesome baker. Her cakes are amazing. So that's why I try to incorporate things that um, she does. She dances quadrille also, and she bakes. So this is the skirt and also represents a Vienna cake. This is a trimming that we will usually use in the bottom of the skirts or above of the blouse, on the bottom of the blouse. These trimmings will also be um, in the bottom of the, uh, the skirt sometimes. I place some soft tool to represent part of a kankang. Right above of the madras is a white um, puff with uh, satin base and the overlaid with um, lace, lacy material. This will represent our madras blouse. Over it, I placed another layer of trimming, which will actually represent the base of the gingham skirt. This pink and white represents a gingham skirt. In between, I place some laces to decorate that gingham skirt and also kang kang. I place the netting over it to represent the kang kang. Of course, what's a skirt without a blouse? So our top is another blouse. And this time, I use eyelet, which is also used very often in our madras outfits. I place extra lacing i place trimmings and to represent our necks i place pearls at the end of it because of course it's a pin cushion i place some ornaments of scissors sewing machine a tape measure and a hanger when we finish our dancing we put away our clothing and miss Shalita is also a crafter, so these items represent certain things that she would use. To the top, last but not least, I placed burlap with lace and a pearl. Burlap is part of, of a culture also. And of course, because it is a pin cushion, I or ornated two hat pins with pearls. Well, it took a good minute for me to complete this, but I like it, and I'm sure she would like it too. It's my humble rendition of a shabby chic slash Virgin Island cultural pin cushion. And I hope that she enjoys it as much as I enjoyed making it some other time. We can do more of these. And it's imperfection is what makes it special and perfect. I finally did it, Miss Shalita. And yes, this is my first time doing a pin cushion. So I don't think I did too bad. Thank you for passing by, guys, and have a good day. Bye-bye.